minutes and uh, we take the lesson further atmosphere the domain of air the thin envelope of air surrounding the earth is called the atmosphere now we all know that earth is the only planet which is surrounded by the atmosphere which affects in the proper breathing process and thus making the life possible on earth so it is the atmosphere which provides this facility the atmosphere is a thin blanket of gases that wrap the earth so it is that blanket of air which is wrapping the earth providing it with essential gases and at the same time it protects us from the fierce heat of the sun and keeps the surface warm at night by trapping the heat now during the daytime when the sun is there the excessive heat of the sun uh, would burn the planet had there been no atmosphere but this atmosphere provides a blanket it protects us from the ultraviolet rays and the other harmful rays penetrating the earth's surface so the blanket stops this uh, ultraviolet and harmful rays of the sun so this blanket of gases or atmosphere which we call actually protects the earth from the excessive heat of the sun entering the earth then at the night night time when there is no sun around the same blanket of air the atmosphere actually traps the atmosphere uh, the heat and keeps the planet warm enough otherwise during the night time had there been no atmosphere all around the earth then it would have frozen down but because of the presence of the atmosphere when there is no sun i mean when the portion is not facing the sun and it's night the warmth is provided by the atmospheric uh, gases and they trap the heat of the sun okay it provides us with the air we breathe and definitely we know that atmosphere has those gases which help us in breathing it contain it contains the gases that sustain life and moisture that give us water so now atmosphere plays another role it sustains life it may it provides those gases like carbon dioxide and oxygen which which are essential for life to be on earth then also other things like moisture it traps the moisture you know the evaporation then condensation and it results in a water cycle thus providing water to the planet so now the next heading is extent of the atmosphere now till where is the atmosphere's extent let us see the atmosphere extends to a height of about 700 kilometers can you imagine 700 kilometers okay but but has no distinct boundary now you cannot demarcate a boundary ki acha 700 kilometers ke baad khatam no it is outer space after that but then there is no given specified boundary it simply fades off into space as it gets thinner as as it reaches the upper layers it gets thinner and thinner and the air surrounding the earth is the thickest about 75% of the atmospheric gases are concentrated within 12 kilometers from the earth surface now from the earth surface the 12 kilometers i'll tell you through a diagram please wait hold on just a second yes now if you see this supposing this is the earth now the basic area is 12 kilometers all around yeah. don't talk to switch off your mics now that 12 kilometers supposing this is 12 kilometers 12 kilometers 12 12 from all sides if we calculate the 12 kilometers that is the area which is the thickest surrounded by this air okay so basically it is here 75% of atmospheric gases are 
found here in this area now the density of air decreases with altitude now the air as it goes higher and higher the density decreases okay that means it gets thinner and thinner as it reaches its upper layers okay so here it is the th thin air okay it is a thin air then the density of air uh, decreases with altitude that is why when we go to places like leh or in ladakh at an altitude of 3637 meters we have altitude sickness due to less oxygen present there mountaineers face breathing problem due to the thinning of air as they go up to higher altitudes now as they go higher and higher the altitudes that is the height as the height of uh, any place increases we face at times the lesser oxygen present why because it is thickest here in this area it is thickest so most of the gases are found here that is the reason why that this is a thickest area clear so we move on okay composition of the atmosphere can you see the screen children yes ma'am okay thank you composition of the atmosphere the earth's atmosphere is a colorless and tasteless mixture now we all know that the atmosphere the gases in the atmosphere are colorless and tasteless you cannot taste them and there's no color to these gases apart from the gases water vapor dust and smoke pollen and even salt particles are found in the lower limits so the constituents that means atmosphere is made up of what all the gases which are colorless and tasteless apart from gases there are water vapors there are dust smoke pollens then salt particles etc okay and the diagram which is shown here please put a tick mark you are supposed to draw this diagram then we come on to composition of clean dry air that means a dry air which has no moisture in it what all it contains so it contains nitrogen the symbol of nitrogen is capital n helps in maintaining soil fertility and promotes growth of plants and animals now please underline please record this one point is disturbing the whole class switch off your mics please check your mics now presence of nitrogen in the atmosphere brings fertility to the plants the soil fertility is maintained that means in the soil there is presence of nitrogen which helps the plants to grow which makes the soil fertile so it is nitrogen which maintains the fertility of the soil the soil is fertile because of the presence of nitrogen apart from this nitrogen promotes growth of plants and animals now many of us we know that that plants are the basic source of our survival and many animals depend on plants and many other animals depend on those animals who are dependent on plants so nitrogen in a way gives fertility to the soil on which the plants grow and the animals survive on these plants and there is a chain proper food chain which continues then the other gas which is present in a dry air which has no moisture is the oxygen that is o2 the symbol of oxygen is o2 please make sure you know the symbols also now we all know presence of oxygen helps us to breathe then there is another gas carbon dioxide which is written as co2 Now uh, this is essential for photosynthesis by plants. It helps in keeping the earth warm. So we all know we breathe in oxygen. We give out carbon dioxide. The same carbon dioxide is also given out and take. I mean, this is uh, the same carbon dioxide is taken and used up by plants in the process of photosynthesis, where the in the presence of sunlight, the leaves make food for the plant. 
and the plant survives and then it gives out fruits and that those fruits and other parts of the plant are eaten by the herbivorous animals and these herbivorous animals are eaten by the carnivores and thus the food chain continues and so these presence of the presence of nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide is very essential in the survival of any living organism now they talk of that there are certain other glass gases which are also present now these include please underline hydrogen helium and ozone you all must have heard of this ozone layer it protects the earth from the harmful rays the ultraviolet radiation by the sun okay so this is what we have done till now we'll stop here is the concept clear to each one of you yes ma'am okay. yes ma'am yes, ma yes child yes child ma'am in the last class ma'am in the last class